All right, let's now answer this question here, question 21. The amortization table below shows the repayment, interest, principal reduction, and balance of a reducing balance loan after the first repayment. So here it is right here. What amount of interest is paid with repayment number two? So what we're trying to figure out for repayment number two, what is the amount of interest that is being paid? So we're trying to figure out this cell right here. Well, to figure out the amount of interest that is being paid, we need to figure out what is the interest of this uh of this, uh, what is it, a reducing balance loan. So what we're going to do to figure that out is we're gonna take the loan here, the balance of the loan, and say, hey, how much interest did I earn off that? So really think what we're doing here. We've got $180,000, timesing it by some interest rate, and we know that the interest that is going to come from that is 720. So all we're doing here is going, all right, what's 720 over 180? 180,000, 180,000. So I'd go control divide 720 over, whoa, whoa, whoa. 720 over 180, one, two, three. I hit control enter. It's going to be that. So that is my interest rate. My interest rate is 0 0.004. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, and I'll grab, put this in another color. I'm now gonna grab this. 179870 and times it by that interest rate that we've just found, 004. So times by 179870 and that's going to be that, 719.48. So it's going to be D right there. That is our answer. Let's now look at our examiner's report here. It says, first work out the interest rate per payment for the details for the first payment. So the rate is 720 over that. So 0.004 or 0.4% each payment period, each repayment period. Use this rate on the balance after the first repayment. So interest is 0.4% or 0004 times by that to get 719.48, which we got. Hopefully that has made sense.